Hey everybody, it's Kim Danke, your Shibboleth new member, Fast Track instructor, and I am happy to be here with you tonight on this Sunday evening. If you are on Facebook, please take just a second to say hello. I do love to know that people are here with us or give us some, some thumbs up or some hearts, something fun. Just let us know that you support what we stand for here in Shibboleth helping people learn how to take care of themselves because it's important. If you are in the Zoom room, please find where your chat button is. The chat button can be found on your phone, your iPad, your tablet, wherever, and your computer. When you find that button, click it, and then you will see where it says all panelists. Click there and then choose the option for all panelists and attendees. And that way, if you have anything to say, you can type it in and we will all see it. And it won't look like I'm answering random questions out of the air. Hey, Debbie, hey, Hope, New Hope, Tennessee, welcome. Just like Debbie did, please take a second to say hello, where you're from. I would love to know if you are brand new or here for a refresh. And also, if you're with us and, the, and you are a member and you've lost some weight, let us know. And also, if you want to tell who you heard about Shibboleth from, I would love to know that. I get started at three minutes after the start time. So we got two more minutes to chat and get to know each other a little bit. Hey, Vicki, Vicki, I'm so glad that you're here with us. I'm excited for you to get started, too. And you are from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Awesome. Awesome. Then we've got Julia from Holly Springs, Georgia, and Becky from Ohio joined today. Awesome, Becky. And you're in the right place to have joined today. That is awesome. Um, and Julia from Ridgefield, Washington. Wow. Wow. Like Washington State. <laughs> Um, hello, Angelia and Brenda. Hey, Brenda. Brenda, awesome. Met Brenda yesterday at the store. So glad that you're here with us. Uh, Shantria from Harris, oh, Shantria Harris from Valdosta, Georgia, a newbie. Kathleen joined yesterday, Dallas, Georgia. Woo, y'all are in the right spot. That is awesome. Awesome. Still working on getting my water in for the day. Hey, Rachel, Rachel from Cartersville signed up a few years ago and never completed Fast Track because I didn't understand everything. Need to learn how to do this. Okay, well, Rachel, we actually didn't have Fast Track a few years ago. We've had it a little over a year now. Okay, so the right you're in the right place and I'm glad that you're here. I saw you on last night. You have taken the right step as to last night you heard me talking, saying to come here and you've done it. That's a good step. So thank you. Thank you. Hey, Connie Peterson, Valdosta, Georgia, just getting started. Awesome. This is exciting. Very exciting. Well, I lost 50 pounds back in 2019. I didn't even know I had 50 pounds on my body to lose. I wanted to lose 35 and a half pounds. I did that. Then I went into our maintenance program. I lost 15 more pounds in our maintenance program for a 50 pound weight loss. And now I do my very, very best to honor the Lord and that gift that he gave me. And I do my best to keep that 50 pounds off. And I do have to say that I feel much, much better. So what we're going to be talking about tonight is the, the guidelines behind what we do and how I want you to see this as a management system. Okay. Because we may have a problem with overeating and we might have to figure out how to solve that problem. And using Shibboleth as a management system is what you need to do. Or maybe you're just eating the wrong things together, okay? Then we're gonna teach you that too. So there's all kinds of um, support in here. And the way that this lifestyle has been laid out is going to help you with whatever concerns you've got going on. Hey, Patty, thank you for tagging. Appreciate that. Hey, Katinka, I see you over there. And then for those of you that are in the Zoom room that have your chat set to all panelists, if you do want to chat some more, if you don't mind, set that chat for me to all panelists and attendees. It's helpful when we can all see what um, each person is typing. All right, well, tonight I'm gonna share my screen with you. We're gonna simply go over a PowerPoint presentation that has just the overview, the lifestyle overview in it. You will have access to this after tonight. It's located in the, it's located in the materials section right underneath this video that's in 
the fast track lap two and um, it'll be there for you. But this is a lifestyle. This is not a diet. And I know many people join thinking, let me do this next diet, but it's not a diet. Okay. It is a lifestyle. The first three letters in the word diet spell die. The first four letters in the word lifestyle spell life. I think I'll choose life. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to teach you tonight is the terms that we use, the way that we talk, the way that we think about things. Um, Rachel, click on dashboard. Click on dashboard at the very top. Once you click on dashboard and that ribbon of words at the top, it'll open up. It should show you instructors first. The, to the left of the word instructors, you should be able to click fast track. And that's where the laps are. Okay, so... I get down into the nitty gritty today. What is this management system and what do you have to do every single day just to make this thing work for you? Okay. So first of all, in Shibola, there are, hey, Linda, glad you're here. Cornelia, Georgia in the house. Okay. Two modes. We have two modes in Shibola. You are either in weight loss mode or maintenance mode, weight loss mode or maintenance mode. That's it. There's just two modes. Whenever you are not at your victory yet or your goal weight yet, you're simply in weight loss mode. Once you've hit your goal weight, if you want to switch over to maintenance mode, you can. A lot of people just stick in weight loss. Hey, Diane, glad you're here. It's awesome. And then there are two types of days. We basically only have two types of days. Now, if you have joined as a Tiger's Eye member, yeah, the fast track is the laps. Um, yeah, when you click on fast track, you should see lap one, lap two, lap three, lap four, lap five, lap six, lap seven. Now, I'm not talking about in the video library, Rachel. I'm talking about click on dashboard, and then it'll show the instructor page. To the left of that is fast track. As soon as you click there, your laps will be there. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Rachel. Yeah, you can look again. If you can't, let me know what you're seeing. Take a screenshot or something and I'll um, help you out. So if you've joined as a Tiger's Eye member, when you go to journal your very first day, you may see a drop down menu of like 10 different choices. And you might be thinking, I thought Kim said that there was just two types of days, a perfect day or a holiday. Well, when you see intermittent fasting, IMF, when you see divine day, when you see tiger's eye, uh, when you see lion and shark, ignore them for now, okay? Ignore them all for now. Right now, all you're trying to get down is uh, the learning to live the lifestyle. All those other types of days that I mentioned are versions of perfect days but they're advanced, okay? They're advanced types of days. And all you need to know right now to get to live in the lifestyle is perfect day or holiday, perfect day or holiday, okay? So put blinders on and don't even concern yourself with those other types of days yet. If you desire to in the future, you can move into and learn about those other types of days, but there's no need to overwhelm yourself at this time about those, all right? Um, Yay, Patty Bass says, if you are new to Shibola, welcome. You are at the right place. Reach out and ask questions. Thank you for that, Patty. <coughs> Excuse me. How many holidays are allowed? Now, has anybody ever heard the term cheat day? Anybody heard that word, cheat day? Yep, I see some hands going up. Okay, we don't cheat. I know, I hate that term too, Katinka. We don't cheat in Shibola because, well, first of all, this, this girl right here that you're talking to, um, I have a master's in education. I used to be a school teacher and a principal. I'm not into cheating, okay? I have never been a cheater of any kind, and I don't like cheat day. We don't call it cheat day. The only reason I even mention that is so that you'll know kind of, because that's what the world calls it. Um, we call it a holiday a holiday. And it's not that you're cheating. It's just that you're not doing the optimum things to create weight loss. And so we just have to call it a holiday so that we know how to work around what we're doing and manage what we're doing. Um, Lisa, tiger's eye 
at one point had a two-year membership and sometimes it's lifetime. But if you say you got lifetime, that's Tiger's Eye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Lisa, you should be good with Tiger's Eye and lifetime. There was a short period of time where Tiger's Eye was offered at a two-year membership. But if you say you got lifetime, it probably is. Um, but if you want to message me, I can double check. Message me your first and last name and I can double check. Yeah. But you should be good. Okay. So holidays are just a, a day where you aren't doing all that you need to do to have a perfect day. A holiday is simply not a perfect day. So in weight loss mode, you can use up to six holidays in a calendar month. Now, I already want you to be thinking management. I want you to be thinking management. So whenever you go into managing anything, you want to look and see what's coming up, what's on the horizon, okay? So you want to do that. Um, well, we do have the, the videos and the other types of days, but I could do one that just li listed them all out in one video. I could do that, Diane. That's a good idea. Um, and then, but once you get to maintenance mode, you can use up to 12 holidays in a calendar month. And if you really think about that, that's almost half the month that you could have holidays and still maintain your weight loss. And you might be wondering how that can happen. Well, the other days need to be truly perfect days, not going into okay days. And the okay day is basically a holiday, okay? So let's keep it where we are. Now, anything that I talk about in fast track mode and in fast track week is only six holidays. That's what I talk about. But I do want you to be aware that once you get to maintenance, there's up to 12 holidays in a calendar month. How do you have a perfect day? You... Follow the Shibboleth Shield. Good, Diane. You follow the Shibboleth Shield. After two perfect days, your body gets into EFB, baby, efficient fat burning. This is where your body is going to be using stored energy. Stored energy is just the fat that you're wanting to get rid of. We got to figure out how to access that so that it gets used up as the energy that you need and burns off your body. Well, after two perfect days, your body gets into EFB and it starts burning, burning fat efficiently. Okay. So on the fair, though, you do five things each day, five things each day to have a perfect day. We're going to get in our water. We're going to journal. We're going to eat in the right combinations. All that simply means is eating in a way that controls insulin. We're going to eat the right portions and we're going to use timing to uh, help us give our body time to digest food between meals. So there's five things, water, journal, combinations, portions, and timing. These are the five things that we're going to do every day. So a little bit of education talk from me. You know, teachers have standards that they are supposed to um, teach the kids in a year. So if you're in first grade, you have these standards. You're in second grade, you have these standards and so forth. OK, and then every single day they have the objectives that they are trying to meet. Well, what I'm going to go, about to go through are the standards and then you meet these daily by these objectives, okay? Your objective is to get your water in. Your objective is to write down what you eat. Your objective is to eat in the right combinations, eat the right portion, and use timing to your benefit. So this is what we're going to go over. We now know, we're now we now learning the standards by which we should eat. And I'm sure that you've heard the term, do everything in moderation. Hey, Michelle, but who's moderation? My moderation might not be the same as Lisa's moderation, as uh, Diane's, as Michelle's. My moderation might be different than Patty's moderation, okay? So whose moderation is right? We don't know. Well, wait, yeah, we do. It's this one, this one. And then we all need to meet this one, okay? Hey, Tammy, glad you're here. It's awesome. So component number one of the shield is to drink your water. You want to get in at least a half a gallon of water every single day, working up to a gallon. That's four of these as your minimum. Four of these would be your minimum amount. So it's 64 ounces up to 128 ounces. And I'm pretty like, <laughs> auto. yeah, yeah, Patty, yours is right now because it's Shibola's. Um, Our standards match now and our moderation matches now. 
So with the water, a dehydrated body will not efficiently give up fat or waste. And we need to, awesome, Tammy. I love that. Congratulations. And yes, you can have more perfect days. A dehydrated body will not efficiently give up fat or waste. And we need both of those things to be flushed out of our body on a regular basis. So this water is going to help us normalize our hydration levels. It is our friend. Water also keeps you more mentally and physically satisfied. And it, it helps you get from moment to moment. Component number two of the shield is to journal daily. Hey, Teresa, glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Component number two is to journal daily. If you bite it, you write it. If you nibble it, you scribble it. If you drink it, you ink it. And if you <coughs> hog it, you log it, okay? So we're gonna write down everything that we eat. You are now a, a, a citizen of planet Shibboleth, and there are no idle bites on planet Shibboleth, all right? And this journaling really helps you. And if I can give you a tip, write it before you bite it. So this really helps on those days where you might want to give in and eat things that are more than you should be eating or something that's not really approved, but you've made a commitment to yourself that I'm going to write something before I bite it. If your mind says, eat it, and then you say, oh, but I got to write it first. You take that momentary pause and you start to write that down can actually change your mind and help you. This is why the journaling is so very, very important. It's not to just be annoying. It's actually to help you. So we're going to write down everything that we eat. Katinka says, yes, yes, yes. Huge help to write and declare it first. Yes. So component number three of the shield is combinations. We're going to eat pro properly combined meals. We're going to eat in a way that controls insulin. Insulin is the fat bus. We don't want the fat bus running around in our body storing new fat. Properly combined meals keep away the fat bus. I know when I first learned Shibboleth and I went to my very first luncheon after that, I looked at all the food and I thought, oh, that's bringing the fat bus. That's bringing the fat bus. That's bringing the fat bus. Uh-uh. I don't want the fat bus anymore. So use these funny little terms in the way that Travis has uh, come up with this program to your benefit. Now, this is Mac Daddy. This is huge. This is secret. I'm into saying Mac Daddy these days. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for that. But um, this is huge. This one is, hey, Nikki, glad you're here. This one right here, I'm going to go over on one slide tonight, but then tomorrow night, the full one hour is on food combining because this is pretty important, okay? This is one of the secrets to weight loss because we don't want to be capturing and storing new fat while we're trying to get rid of the stuff that's there. That's a bad cycle. Capturing new fat while we're trying to get rid of the stuff that's there, very bad cycle. So we don't want to do that. Component number four of the, I'm glad you're here, Teresa. That's awesome. Um, component number four of the shield is to have the right portions. We're going to eat properly portioned meals from a six to eight inch plate using the two hand rule. So it says six to eight inch plate, you know, but really we're not talking the two inch rim around a big plate. We'd be talking like right in the center there. But no matter what size plate you have, you should not eat more food than what fits underneath your two hands put together. Okay, so you close your fingers up, you move your thumbs out of the way. You put your hands together as close as possible. You then lower your hands down over your food and you look. If you cannot see your food, you portion controlled. If you can see the food, it's too much and you need to put that into the container for you to have at your next meal, okay? And you don't want your food to be any thicker than the thickest part of your hand, all right? So basically I'm saying don't pile up the Thanksgiving plate and then say, I can't see my food, okay? So I've had people send me pictures of themselves like that at restaurants and stuff because, you know, they think they're being funny. Um, so we use the two hand rule. This is actually really good because guys typically have bigger hands and they need more food sometimes. And then there's people that really have small hands. That's they need less food. I mean, it's a very good measure. Your two hands is a very good measure. OK, so. 
for those of you who have are just are joining brand new or you've been around a while and you're just now getting started I want you to know I've just told you the four things that you need to do every single day water y'all can start that tomorrow journaling you can start that tomorrow eating in the right food combinations you can do your very best to start that tomorrow portions you can start that tomorrow these are the four things that you must meet every day in order to say that you have had a perfect day. Okay, that's that's what we're going to do. You can start those tomorrow. Now, we are going to go over a fifth one. We call it timing. Timing is really there for optimization. This is going to help optimize everything else that you are doing. So you can eat up to three meals a day. Now, you don't have to eat three meals a day. If you just want two, that's fine. But you don't want to go more than three meals a day. Of course, it's very reasonable if you think about it, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So it's very reasonable. Um, if you don't want to eat breakfast, you don't have to either. It's no big deal. We would like for you to eat those meals four to six hours apart. So let's say you eat breakfast at eight, you eat lunch at noon, and you eat dinner at six. That's great timing. Okay. Now I know that the reason that this component of the shield is not a requirement to have a perfect day is because we all have, <clears throat> excuse me, we all have different lives, work schedules, family situations. We have all kinds of different things going on. So we really can't tell you exactly when to eat. We have to tell you what is best practice, and then you figure out what works in your in your life. Okay, but up to three meals, and you should have them four to six hours apart. This is going to help you have them at reasonable times throughout the day, and it also gives your body a break from digesting. I'm going to go over that in just a second. In moments that Travis calls mental weakness. Because we really could make it from breakfast to lunch, lunch to dinner, dinner to bedtime. We really could, okay? But it's often all about those taste buds that we just enjoy giving them what they want. But if you have a moment of mental weakness, you can use things called freebies, an extra, or a snack. So you can use those things. Now, keep in mind that we are trying to stop grazing. Grazing is hurting people. Now, look, I've got another little teaching tool right here. This guy, okay, <laughs> Cal, he has a stomach with four chambers in it, and he's designed to graze. He can graze all day long in the pasture. We do not have a stomach with four chambers. We were not designed to graze. We do not need to be grazing. And I know that you've heard you should eat five, six small meals a day. It is a myth and it is hurting our body. It is hurting our metabolism and our digestive system. Even though you've heard that, I want you to forget everything you've ever heard about nutrition though. Everything that you think you know about nutrition and start this because if you bring baggage in, you won't, you won't cling to this and do it. And when you cling to this and do it, it'll work. Okay, so forget anything that you came, you knew previously, I had to do the same thing, because me being an educator, I had attempted to educate myself on stuff, but first thing Travis said was forget anything you thought you knew about nutrition, and I said, oh good, I want a clean slate, let me do this, and this has worked, and I'm never going back, because this works. Okay, so in the timing, let's say that you have breakfast, and then you have an extra, and then you have lunch, and then you have dinner, and well, then you have a snack, then you have dinner, and then you eat freebies at night, okay? Let's say that you do all of those things. What does that look like? Y'all tell me the word that that looks like. Tammy just mentioned it on Facebook. What does that look like? It looks like, it's the G word I've been talking about. Yeah, that's right, Katinka. That really looks like grazing. But I want to say, if you've eaten the proper portion, that's right, Tony. Glad you're here, Tony. If you're eating the proper portion and an approved item, that is actually still a perfect Shibboleth day. Now, can you optimize your days and, and take some of those things out? Certainly. Maybe you had breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then while you're watching TV, you had a freebie. 
Okay, that would be an even better Shibboleth perfect day. But maybe you just had three meals or maybe you had two meals and a snack. That would be an even better Shibboleth perfect day. So there is an ebb and a flow within that. And some days are going to be one way and some days are going to be another. It, it doesn't really matter. Do you have a, a perfect day where you've utilized every single thing you possibly could? Yep, it's still a perfect day. But maybe the next day, you didn't have all of that, that need that you felt to, to feed that. And you just had three meals. Then you've had an even better Shibboleth perfect day. But it's, there's, there is some um, good, better, and best in there. So that's really good. That's that's nice that we've got good, better, and best. But where where this thing can comes in, if you wouldn't have a perfect day, if you were to go over three meals, that would no longer be a perfect day because basically you're going over your portions, right? And we do have to have our portions right. And then if you ate two snacks, that would not be a perfect day anymore because we only use one. If you had two extras, that would still be, it would not be a perfect day anymore, unless you called one of them a snack. Um, you know, y'all see what I'm saying. So if you go over the amounts allowed, that wouldn't be a perfect day anymore. But if you don't hit that four to six hour apart thing, that's no big deal. Okay, that is for optimization, optimization. And should you try to do that? Yes. But if you don't do your life, your work schedule, children's school schedules, all that kind of stuff, you're still doing the perfect stuff that meets component one, three, four. You're still good. Y'all give me some thumbs up if all of that makes sense. Because I just, thank you, Jan. I just laid out the management system. Thank you, Lisa. There, Thank you, Brenda. That's the management system. Awesome, Katinka. Thank you. Thank you for those on Facebook. Thank you, Debbie. You just had the management system laid out. These are the things that we're going to try to do every day. Thank you, Janet and Tammy. There we go. That's what we do every day. I know personally, I wanted these answers. I wanted these standards to live by because now that I know these standards, that's what I try to achieve every day. So that's what I want y'all to do too. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Becky. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna talk about component number three, combinations. Um, okay, Rachel, we're doing combos right now. Good, Vicky. awesome. Thank you, Teresa. I've got a lot of Teresa's on here. Um, thank you, Shantria. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. So those are those are what we're going to do every single day. And if you'll commit to doing that, you will, you will change your life. You will improve your life. You will improve your sleep. You will improve your shopping. You'll improve everything. You'll have so much more fun if you can get this down. Okay. So combinations. We need to eat in the proper combinations. The reason that we eat in the proper combinations is to control insulin. Insulin is a growth hormone that is focused on fat storage. And so we don't need, uh-oh, Angelia. Yeah, sorry about that. It, you can catch it. You can catch it. Um, come back and watch it. Um, we're going to eat in a way that controls insulin. So in order to learn combinations, and Rachel, after I explain this, I want you to tell me if, if it makes more sense. In order to learn combinations, you need to know that there are seven categories of food. If you are writing down, if you're making notes, I need you to write one through seven on a piece of paper, kind of spaced out, one through seven, okay? And I'm gonna read out what they're called. Category one, is a lean protein, you may see the abbreviation LP. Category two is a fibrous carb, abbreviation FC. Category three, energy carbs, EC. Category four, protein plus fat, PF. Category five, fruit, also known, or FR also known as antioxidant carb, AC. The only reason I say this is because on a couple of documents and combination charts, I've seen AC written, and I want you to know that that's just fruit. Okay, so that's just fruit. Category six, superfood, SF. Somebody sent me a message last night saying, is SFFF something approved? And I said, 
what's um S -S what, what superfood are you talking about she goes oh, i mean sugar free and i went oh oops <laughs> but sf on the combinations is superfood category seven is shellfish or shf which is just really a lean protein okay all food that roams the earth and is grown from the earth they have certain nutritional profiles and they respond a certain way in your body. So based on their nutritional profile and how they respond in their, in your body, they fall into one of these categories. All right. So category one and category seven are lean proteins. So if somebody says to you, oh, you're going to need to have a lean protein and a fibrous carb with that. If you eat shellfish, then you've got that extra category to pull from. If you don't eat shellfish, then you're just going to choose it from the lean protein category, okay? So shellfish is just a lean protein, but the reason that it has its own category is because due to medical reasons and biblical reasons, some people don't want to eat shellfish. So it's in its own little category by itself, but it's really just a lean protein. So if you've written numbers one through seven at the top, I'm just going to say two of each kind of food that goes in here. So you start to get, um, learn what foods go in there. So lean protein, egg whites, uh, Rachel, there's a lot that vegetarians can eat. I don't know what they all are, but there is a filter in the food library. So when you go to the food library and you click on lean protein, you then click on the, the uh, filter for vegetarian and it will filter out everything that's not for a vegetarian and it'll give you your list, okay? So that'll, that'll, that's where you go for that. You can do the same thing in the protein plus fat category too. But in, um, in category one, egg whites, chicken breast. Category two, broccoli green beans, category three, potatoes, corn, category four, whole eggs, steak, category five, fruit, all fruit is fruit, category six, superfood, this is where your um, nut butters are, avocados, uh, seven is shellfish, let me explain this one, all fish, is in lean protein. It's in category one lean protein. All the other critters, I'm from the South, we say critters. All the other critters that live in water that aren't a fish, whether or not they have a shell, go in shellfish. So for example, if you wanted to eat octopus, it doesn't have a shell, but it would be shellfish, okay? All right, so did that help? Just kind of hear what things go in these categories? Because a lot of times there's this overarching word that we say vegetables, and you can find things that we call vegetables in category two, category three, and category six. But all these things that we have this overarching word of vegetables, they don't all respond the same in our body. We have to know which ones go in which categories, and you really only need to know the ones that you personally like that go in these categories. And so that's kind of like a nutritional adventure that you can go on this week and figuring out all the ones that you like and what categories they go in. So if you wrote one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the top of your page, I want you to circle these next five. Number one, number two, number four, number six, in number seven. So you should have circled five categories. So number three and number five should not be circled. The reason that, thank you, Tabitha. Um, the reason that I want you to circle those five, those don't even have to be combined at all. If you just ate a piece of chicken breast, that's not going to bring an insulin release and you don't even have to combine it. Now, are you going to do that most of the time? No, but we need to teach you how to eat in every different situation so that you will know how to make a good decision. If you just ate a, a fibrous carb salad all by itself, you could do that. 
If you just ate some scrambled eggs for breakfast one morning, you could do that. If you had two tablespoons of peanut butter, that's fine. If you wanted to eat some shrimp by itself, that's fine. But the two that we skipped, energy carb and fruit. If you're making notes, write this down. Energy carbs and fruit must be eaten with a lean protein and a fibrous carb. A lean protein and a fibrous carb. So let's talk about this. Number three, energy carb. Let's say that you want to have some black eyed peas, okay? So you wanna eat some black eyed peas and we're gonna use our hands as our measuring tools, okay? We're gonna put our black eyed peas about right here. Just to give you an idea, it would be about a quarter of a cup, okay? About a quarter of a cup. So you put your black eyed peas right here. But you have figured out that you like black eyed peas, that they're an energy carb. You're learning, I must eat in a way that controls insulin. Even if you don't have diabetic or pre-diabetic conditions, we still eat in a way that controls insulin because that helps with weight loss, all right? But if you do have those other conditions, it's going to help with that too. So you put your black eyed peas there and then you make a decision. What lean protein do I want to eat with that? Yes, thank you, Tammy. What, well, Tammy, you got to change that last one to fibrous carb, lean protein and fibrous carb. It would need a, a one or a seven and a two. It, that carb can only come from a two on that one, Tammy. Okay, so you've got your black eyed peas here. Your next choice is what lean protein do I want? I'm just going to say chicken breast, keep it simple. What fibrous carb do I want? I'm gonna say green beans, okay? So let's say, that's our plate. We've got our protein source here. We've got our fibrous carb here. We've got our energy carb here. We've put our hands together. We've lowered our hands down over and we have a look and we don't wanna be able to see our food, okay? So that it's portion controlled because we don't even talk about counting calories. We don't have to because we are controlling insulin and the portion control of our hands that's what's doing the calorie deficit for us. And by the way, if we are going to lose weight, you have got to be in a calorie deficit of 3,500 calories in order to lose one pound. That doesn't happen overnight. That happens over a course of a few days. And then we don't want to be storing new fat while we're learning, losing that fat, because then there's that vicious cycle again. Okay. So black eyed peas, The black eyed peas are going to elevate your blood sugar. Your pancreas is going to secrete insulin to deal with the blood sugar elevation. But you have combined it. Combined just means eaten with, okay? You have combined it and eaten it with a lean protein and a fibrous carb. So the protein in the chicken breast and the fiber in the green beans are going to neutralize the insulin release that came from the black eyed peas. You have just learned the secret of controlling insulin with food rather than medication. Hey, Kathy, y'all, Kathy Chapman, who just popped on Facebook, just got off metformin, okay? So that was a perfect time for you to say, hey, Kathy. Um, yeah, so you have just used food as your medicine. See, type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetic conditions can be reversed with food and habits and all of that. So isn't that exciting? Don't y'all just think that science is just amazing to learn that? I know I do. So, so that's how you would eat that meal. If by chance you did not eat those black-eyed peas with a lean protein and a fibrous carb, you would want to call that a holiday because your body's response is going to be to store fat. And that would not necessarily be, that wouldn't be efficient. Okay. So we have to mark that on our calendar that that would be a holiday. Okay. Same thing with fruit. If you want to eat fruit, it must be combined with a lean protein 
That's right. I love that, Katinka. She says science is God's how-to guide. It is. Science is what God came up with. I love that. Thank you, Katinka. So if you want to eat fruit, it must be eaten with a lean protein and a fibrous carb. So let's say that you want to have some berries. Maybe you make yourself an egg white spinach omelet, or maybe you have an Oikos triple zero yogurt with some hemp flakes and some berries. Or maybe you even want to have some watermelon with a hamburger patty and a category two fibrous carb bun. You could have that at your cookout. Okay, so there's ways to do this. You just want to eat it in the right way. That's awesome, Dana. Um, thank you, Patty, for celebrating your friends. That's awesome. Um, yes, yes, I love it, Kathy. So that's the, that's the simple part of that kind of that food combining. Now, in the beginning, when I mentioned to you that you have uh, weight loss mode or maintenance mode, there's really only three differences between those two modes. One is the number of holidays that you can use. Two is how you eat fruit. And three is your mindset. By the time you get to maintenance, you need to have the mindset that this is not diet mindset. You need to have lifestyle, lifetime mindset. Okay, now I just mentioned that you can eat fruit differently in maintenance. When you are in weight loss mode, fruit must be combined with a lean protein and a fibrous carb because we are focused on getting the results, right? We want those results. But you could have fruit however you wanted up to six times a month. You could think about that. But once you get to maintenance mode, if you wanted to have a piece of fruit as a snack, you could also do that. But if you're eating it with a meal, I would still say, you need to properly combine it with your meal so that you don't eat it with fat and capture new fat. But you can also have fruit as a snack once you get to maintenance only, but not in weight loss mode. OK, you know how you've always heard, oh, I'm going to I'm going to lose some weight. Let me just eat fruit, oh, lots and lots of fruit. Well, guess what's in fruit? Fructose. Guess what fructose is? Natural sugar. Guess what it does? it elevates your blood sugar. Guess what your pancreas does? It secretes insulin. If you eat it with fat, insulin, which is the fat bus, is gonna go collect the fat, even when you've eaten a yummy, healthy food as fruit. See, this is why Shibboleth is so amazing. We, we say in weight loss mode, you do fruit like this. But once you get to maintenance, you can also have it as a snack because these are two different nutritional situations. The person in maintenance is trying to, is this maintaining everything? So if they had a little bit of an insulin release, it, it's okay. It, you know, you don't, because you're not doing it all the time. But in maintenance, I mean, in weight loss, we're hyper-focused on getting those results. So now let's talk about category four. Category four, do you see this word right here? Fat, protein plus fat. Fat is not a bad word. What this, our bodies actually need fats for certain functions. And when you eat fat and it's portion controlled, it really just is used up as energy and will dissipate as heat. But there are foods that you don't want to eat with protein plus fat because you don't want the fat that's there to be stored. You want it to be used up as energy. You don't want it to be stored. So what you're not going to do is you're not going to eat these fats with energy carbs, fruit, or superfoods. So if you're taking notes, write down, um, write down no threes, fives, or sixes with a four. And I want you to think about this. Energy carbs bring an insulin release. Fruit brings an insulin release and superfoods bring an insulin release. So we're not going to eat it with fat so that it doesn't get stored. And then let's look at superfood real quick. If you're making, taking notes, please write this down. There are all four macronutrients in superfood. So in superfood, there's water, protein, fat and carbs. 
So let's have a look over here at this combination chart. We've got this blue column. I call this the lifestyle column. And then we've got our yellow column. This is fast weight loss, actually. It's fast weight loss because it's different than what you've been doing. Then you come over here to this yellow column. This yellow column is faster weight loss. In this red column, you are blowtorching fat like you'd blowtorch butter. This is going to get it done. Now, with this lifestyle, this is like a first seven to 10 days combination chart. But when you go all the way through Fast Track with me, I think on lap six, I'm going to be showing y'all an advanced combination chart that'll introduce threes and fives. You actually can have threes and fives from the very beginning, but for best results, you could leave them out in the first seven to 10 days and really ramp up what you're doing, okay? But this is the way I like to also explain this. If you do all your meals from the blue column, this is like taking the scenic route to the beach. If you get on the highway, you're going to go a little bit faster and you'll get to the beach faster. But if you stay on the interstate, you're going to get to the beach even faster. But when you think about taking a trip to the beach, most of the time you're on the interstate, the highway and the scenic route getting there. So you're going to have some meals that are in here, some that are in here, some that are in here. But if you're really trying to um, get rid of fat, these two are the best. And, but you can utilize this and it won't throw you out of efficient fat burning either. Okay, so when you're reading one of these combination charts, do you see right here where it says one? That simply means category one. That is not quantity. That is the category number. So category one, lean protein, eaten with. Remember that plus sign just means eaten with. Eaten with a category six superfood eaten with a category two fibrous carb. So that's how you would read those. That's all that means. MR means meal replacement. And on, on um, Tuesday night, we're going to be talking about the weight loss meter. And it's best to have negative two and negative three weight loss meter meal replacements for weight loss. Those are the best ones for weight loss, okay? And then where this says MCT, we're actually going to talk about this on the next slide. So I would like to know from Rachel if this makes a little bit more sense now. Does it make a little bit more sense now, Rachel? Because all we're doing is we're eating in a way that controls insulin. And our job this week is for you to write down the lean proteins you find you like, the fibrous carbs you find you like, and so forth. And so even vegetarians need to make sure that they have some lean proteins. That's okay. Okay. Well, we had a guy recently, his name was Dr. Walter Atha. I think he works at John Hopkins, but anyway, he's vegan and he's lost 60 pounds, Rachel. He's lost 60 pounds when he figured out, oh, oh, what he was doing wrong. And all you got to do is figure out your lean proteins. I think you might not be getting some lean proteins in and um, it's holding, holding you back. Okay. Can you combine two in the same category? Yes. Chicken breast, Greek yogurt, plus chicken salad. Um, I'm not understanding what that is. Chicken breast, Greek yogurt, Um, yeah, I mean, you can do chicken breast, which is a lean protein, and you can do the non-fat Greek yogurt, which is a lean protein. Yes, yes, you can. You can do that. Um, and then you can even have category two fibrous carbs. So a lot of times when somebody makes a wrap, they'll use the Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Tortilla. That's a category two. And then you might put some lettuce or some spinach in there along with a lean protein and even a condiment. Well, that would be two category twos. And then if you wanted to have some cucumbers or some um, bell peppers next to it, that would be three category twos. That's totally fine. You can have multiples of the same category, especially in the lean protein, the fibrous carb, the protein plus fat, and the shellfish. When you start getting to energy carbs and fruit and stuff, you probably wouldn't want to do that because it would just put too much of that on your plate. But those other ones you can. Okay, so category, I mean, excuse me, next, next slide. So this is a recap of the rules, the most important rules. 
a lean protein eaten with a fibrous carb cooked up in MCT oil, which we're going to use next, I'm going to talk about next, are the fastest fat burning combinations. If you want to eat an energy carb or fruit, which is a three or a five, you must eat it with a lean protein and a fibrous carb. And we just don't eat category fours with energy carbs, fruit, or superfoods. And then all meat at a restaurant should be considered a category four. All meat at a restaurant should be considered category four. Even if it's chicken breast and you know at home you would eat chicken breast and count it as a lean protein. When you go to a restaurant, you don't know what oil they cooked it in. So basically they've taken a piece of lean chick, lean protein and they have turned it into a protein plus fat by the fat that they cooked into it. Okay, approved cooking oils. Do you know what a lot of shibboleth is? Swapping products at the grocery store. If you were buying this bread, you buy new bread. If you were buying this tortilla, you buy a new tortilla. If you were buying this milk, you buy a new milk. It really is just switching around some products. Then it's switching around what you eat together. It's just simple swaps. This is another simple swap. Since I've started shibboleth, I have not bought anything but MCT oil and ghee butter and zero calorie cooking spray. So, you know, I bought olive oil before. I've not even bought any in over two years. So MCT oil is a medium chain triglyceride and our number one recommended is 100% MCT oil. MCT has almost no propensity to be stored on the body as fat, amen. Hallelujah. I don't need to be storing new fat. Do you? No, let's don't store it. So, but, but LCTs, long chain triglycerides, they have a great propensity to be stored on the body as fat. So there's two things I want you to think about to get a visualization. You've got a candle wick here and it's a little short candle wick. It's a medium chain triglyceride. And then you've got a longer candle wick. If you set this one on fire and this one on fire, this one's gonna burn faster. Long chain triglycerides are also very dense. So not only are they taking longer to burn, they take longer to break through. So they're more dense. So those have a great propensity to be stored on the body of fat. They're actually an easily accessible source of energy too. And they take a long time to break down. So if you want your body to get to stored energy, You've got to not give it easily accessible energy that takes a long time to burn through. And that would be long chain triglycerides. So that's why 100% MCT oil is what you want to use. Now, coconut oil is also okay. You can use that. It is 66% MCTs. It's not 100%. So if you want your fastest fat burning combination, you use the 100% MCT oil. You can also use ghee butter, spelled G-H-E-E -E, and pronounced ghee, ghee butter. All ghee butter is, it's butter. It's just been clarified, which means all of the milk solids have been pulled out of it and it's just left the fat. Um, and it's 40% MCT. So we're kind of going down the, the level on that. But the reason ghee butter is so good is because if you want to make some shrimp scampi or dip, dip some crab legs or lobster tail in, in butter, you know, there you go. You got to have your option. There's your ghee butter. And then zero calorie cooking spray is also available. You can use that anytime. What I choose to do is when I am cooking a lean protein, I use 100% MCT oil. When I'm cooking a protein plus fat, it already has fats in it. I don't need more fats. Therefore, I use zero calorie cooking spray. Now, this medium chain triglyceride has about 130 calories per tablespoon, so you don't want to overuse it. So let's say that you're cooking yourself one piece of chicken, then you use one tablespoon, but no more. Let's say you're cooking the family of five or six people, you know, chicken, you can use up to how many ever servings of chicken you're cooking because it's all you're going to need it to work in there. OK, but you wouldn't want to have more than one tablespoon per serving. And you're hearing me say good things about this medium chain triglyceride, but we only use it for three reasons, three reasons only cooking, cooking as a swap in a recipe and making approved salad dressings. You never need to get it in. 
as a supplement. We don't make, we don't use it as a supplement. We don't add it to bulletproof coffee and we don't randomly put it in shakes. There's a lot of noise out there and a lot of distractions. Shibboleth kind of cuts all of that out and we go down to the nitty gritty. We're not trying to sell you MCT oil for our purposes. You know what I mean? So we're not trying to get you to add it to everything. You're only going to use it for the purpose of helping you achieve your goals and putting it in coffee, putting it in shakes and taking it as a supplement would not help you achieve your goals because you would be randomly adding calories for no reason. Okay. So we, we can, we're going to use that medium chain triglyceride. Now, you need to cook on low to medium heat, otherwise it'll set off your smoke detector because it burns up quickly. And that's actually a good thing. We want it to burn up quickly because in our body, when, you, when something burns up quickly, it creates a little thermogenic effect. So it helps burn a few extra calories. Now, just because I said something helps you burn a few extra calories does not mean you take it as a supplement and you think it's going to be in your body burning calories. It's not. You're just going to use it when you have used it to cook with approved salad dressings or like a swap in a recipe. Okay, so we got four little slides to wrap this up, but they go pretty quick. Now, EFB stands for efficient fat burning. And I just think it's fun to say EFB, baby, because I like to know how to efficiently burn fat. I think about my body and like what's going on in my body now. And I didn't understand what went on in my body before Shibboleth helped me learn it. So we are striving for perfect days. And we want to have two perfect days. And on that third perfect day, you get a flame on your timing chart. Your first perfect day, and I'm going to show you this on Tuesday night. In your first perfect day, you get a check. Second perfect day, you get a check. Third perfect day, you get a flame. And you know that you are now in EFB. But planned or unplanned, a holiday is coming. We are living life. We do know that we're going to have birthdays, anniversaries, and holidays. But now you have a plan. You have a plan to get back to business after the holiday. So after a holiday, again, it'll take two perfect days to get back into EFB. And then you string as many efficient fat burning days together as you can. Let's get an EFB streak. And then planned or unplanned, a holiday's coming. Doesn't that sound like life? You know, you, you're ha you, you, you have a birthday every year, anniversary every year, Christmas comes around every year. You know, it, it's cyclical. So we got to also learn how to perfect days. And then if we have a holiday, get back to perfect days, holiday, back to perfect days, and it will get you the results that you want. When we are in EFB, our body is going to burn fat, which is stored energy for the energy that we need rather than easily accessible sources of energy, such as unapproved oils or starchy and sugary carbs. That aren't approved. Okay. You know, there's still, there's still sweet things approved and there's still um, energy carbs that are approved that'll give you those tastes and flavors. That's what you've got to figure out, you know, during this nutrition adventure that we're going to go on this week at Fast Track is all the fun and delicious things you want to switch your, your foods out for. So what is the fat bus? The fat bus is insulin. Insulin is a growth hormone. It's a fat storage hormone. After we have reached our height and we're not going to grow anymore, if we have a fat storage hormone surging in our body all the time, then we're getting wider, not taller. Okay, so we just need to kind of keep that in mind. Insulin also increases appetite. Have you ever eaten um, ice cream and then you wanted chips and then you wanted a cookie and then you wanted a pickle and then you're like maybe I have some more ice cream yeah that's because insulin increases your appetite after an insulin release fat storage will occur for up to 48 hours meaning you're out of EFB now doesn't that go right along with the two days once you've had a holiday or two it takes 48 hours for you, that insulin to get back out of your body for you to then get back into efficient fat burning. See, management system, we're managing this. The fat, after the fat bus has been on its rounds, it takes two days to get back into efficient fat burning. So 
What are you going to eat this week? You simply make a list of seven favorite lean proteins, seven favorite fibrous carbs, and you mix and match them. Take something from category one and something from category two and use MCT oil if you can get your hands on it this week to cook it up. If you don't, you can use zero calorie cooking spray or coconut oil or even ghee butter. Throw in a few meal replacements for simplicity. If you were eating Pop-Tarts before, we're going to have to introduce you to the legendary tasty pastry. It's like a Pop-Tart that's going to help you not hurt you. So we're going to have to figure out which meal replacements work for you. Now, if you were somebody that got up and cooked breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day, and you never needed something simple and quick, then don't worry about meal replacements. But if you like and want something simple and quick, because you're not into cooking, then you're going to want to figure out which meal replacements you like best. What I love about Shibboleth is that we can do any and all of it, and it's sustainable for our life. So keep it super simple in the beginning and then branch out as you continue to live and learn the lifestyle. So I want you to take advantage of our awesome resources. If you are a Facebook user, please get into our support groups. In Fast Track Lap 1, it gives you the links to join the groups. Familiarize, you. yes, it is, Rachel, and it's delicious. Familiarize ourselves with our awesome website, okay? And I'm going to be doing that with you this week. Tuesday night through Saturday night, all we're doing is going through the resources in the website, and I'm going to help shorten your learning curve on using them. I want you to set up a mentor appointment uh, at mentor.genbook.com, but I actually want you to set that appointment up for next week after you've done Fast Track. And then this week, just focus in on Fast Track and completing each one of the laps. And then welcome Welcome to Shibboleth. We're here for you. We want to teach you how to do this thing because it works. Awesome, Phyllis. I'm so glad that you learned something new every single time. That's awesome. I love it. Now, right now, our friend Jason is doing a How I Overcame Food Addiction and Lost Weight webinar right now. Um, those of you that have found me and you don't really know what you've got yourself into right now, this is a uh, the Shibboleth Lifestyle, and you can get a membership for $69 at ShibbolethDeals.com. That's the website you should use, ShibbolethDeals.com. Then you put in the name of the person that told you about Shibboleth. Um, awesome. I'm so glad you're excited, Tammy. That is awesome. And Janet, can I use Atkins Protein Rich Shake as a meal replacement? So for those of you that want to hang on with me for just a second, you're welcome, Becky. I'm going to look this up with Janet because I don't know. So what I'm going to do, and actually, if Rachel is still on here, I'm going to show Rachel something too. So I'm going to the Shibboleth website. Um, and thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. Okay, Rachel. Awesome. Okay. Yes, Tammy. The $69 for life, y'all. Uh, share it with all of your friends. Get them on here right now while it's 69 bucks because that's a deal. Okay. So I'm going to go to the food library. And I'm going to look up uh, Atkins Protein Rich Shake. Okay. I'm just going to look up Atkins because it'll shorten the It'll bring up all the Atkins products. And so one of, one of the things that I did, and, I, and I'll talk about this on Tuesday night, but one of the things that I did was I brought everything from my pantry to my computer and I started looking the things up. And if it was approved, I would write on it with my Sharpie marker how to use it. If it wasn't approved, I'd take a picture of the front of the item and the back of the item and I would ask if it could be approved. And I would either hear no, that it couldn't be approved and learn why, or maybe it could be approved and Kim Shibboleth, which is not me, will add it to the food library. Okay, Atkins Protein Rich Shake. Okay, Atkins, there's a protein powder. Um, okay, a protein rich, yeah, there's the, there's the Atkins Ready to Drink Protein Rich Energy Shake, any flavor. And then there's an 11 ounce one and a 16.9 ounce one. So there you go, Janet. Looking for the food library, the food library is in this resources, foods and recipes. It's in this green one. You're welcome, Janet. But I want to say, Becky, that if you're brand new and you have never taken the 
fast track quiz after the 14 little videos that you should watch, it's in lap one, then it won't be the full food library until you've passed that quiz. Once you've passed that quiz, it'll open up the whole thing. Now, Rachel, Rachel, I'm gonna show you two, two things, Rachel. I'm gonna click here, food library. And I'm gonna click on lean protein because Rachel, you're gonna wanna find some lean proteins that work that you like. Well, Becky, there's not a lap eight. Oh, oh, you mean, oh, okay. You mean the, of the videos, sorry, sorry. I was thinking of the lap, the uh, tabbed laps. I was like, I didn't create a lap eight, but I got it, I got it. Okay, so, so I'm in the lean protein category, Rachel. See this filter right here? You're going to click that filter. And these are the these are the lean proteins for for the vegetarians. Yeah, it is awesome. It is awesome. And then the other thing I wanted to show you, Rachel, and anybody else that's still hanging out with me, Click on dashboard. Awesome, Diane. Thank you. Click on dashboard. And then there's the fast track. You see this fast track right here? Click fast track. Yay, Katinka. It's always good to have a refresher. And here's lap one. Yeah, I have used TVP. There's actually a really great meatloaf that you can make with TVP. And that would be really good for Rachel too. But I have, yeah. Okay, so I'm not sure where I was showing this, but Rachel, that's where you find the fast track laps. Have you found them yet? And here's the 14 little videos. Awesome. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. I love doing this. When you finish watching these little videos, you can take this quiz right here. When you take, um, I buy the TVP from the Shibola store. Awesome. Okay, Rachel. Yeah. So this is where it is. But Rachel, what I'm really, really, really wanting you to do is not just watch the videos. See, Fast Track is actually way more than just videos. Fast track is registering. Um, TVP is textured vegetable protein. Bob's Red Mill. Um, Bob's Red Mill, I think is the name of the brand, but it's a soy product. It's soy based textured vegetable protein. But what I want y'all to do is come here and you register for this week's webinars right here. Always read that black box that pops up first because it's different from, for every task. There's the 14 videos to watch. And then from welcome packet all the way down to meal plan worksheet are different printables that are gonna be helpful for you. Then right from here down to here are joining the Facebook groups. And if you're not a Facebook user, just check the box because you want the boxes to all be checked by the end of all the laps. Awesome. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow night. That's great. And then if you need a little tomorrow. tutorial video, this is a tutorial video that goes over everything here. Once you've checked off all those boxes, lap two. And this is really just dotting the I's and crossing the T's on getting your account set up to where you're going to like it. You know, you want to find what your ideal weight is. You want to do a full body assessment. You want to enter your measurements so that your profile will create these cool graphs. If it doesn't have data to crunch, it can't give you the graphs. You do want your front and side picture, okay? No, it didn't have that, Rachel, a few years ago. I did these um a little over a year ago so and then to find your why and then right here if anybody has missed any of the daily webinars each week they're housed right here this is the website that I'm going to use tomorrow night and just in case somebody didn't take that quiz when they watched the little 14 videos there's a reminder to take that quiz 
because once you've passed the quiz, your new member food library opens up to the full food library, the full recipe library, and the full restaurant guide. And then, but if you want to go just to the new member food library, it's right here. So this, if you're brand new, I'd hang out and fast track and just do it methodically, methodically do it. This was built to build on top of each other so that every bit of information that you do and every task that you do creates this framework of knowledge that you're going to you're going to work through. All right, if y'all want to go over and watch Jason, you can register right here at this online webinars tab, okay? And he's doing a How I Overcame Food Addiction and Lost Weight webinar. And in the morning, I will be live on the Shibboleth public page for um, the Shibby show. I do the Shibby show Monday through Friday, typically around 7.30, 7.40-ish. Denise, I'm glad that you are excited. I'm glad to have you here. It's awesome. Hearts back to you, Deb. And Morgan, I don't remember the laps, but I took the quiz when I first signed up. Is that okay? You want to go back and do the laps. It's great that you have the quiz, but you want to do the laps. The laps are what helps you dig in and really learn everything. You're welcome, Brenda. Thank you. Being thorough is a compliment to me. Thank you so much, Brenda. You're welcome, Teresa. And part of what Brenda just said it, that this was so thorough is really where you want, Morgan, the reason that you want to go through, yes, the reason that you want to go through that is because it's being thorough. Um, we don't want to live, leave anything unknown. So I said the other day in class, if don't skim things, don't skim it. If you print out your welcome packet and guideline, I want you to read welcome on page one and on page nine, I want you to see down at the bottom, it says SRM updated on 2021. I mean, I want you to read that thing like that because if you don't read them, you just don't learn it as well. You're welcome, Connie. Um, and then Patricia Hurt, she says, skimmers don't become slimmers. And I said, that is so cute. I want to become a slimmer and I'm definitely not a skimmer. I'll read things. I'll read them. Because if you don't read them, you don't get the full information that you need. We all need the info. All right. I could keep talking all night long. I will see y'all later. Bye everybody. You're welcome, Jan. Awesome. Good. Yeah, definitely work through those laps, Jan. They will help so much. And I'll be here live every single night the, uh, for till Saturday. The only two laps that I don't go over is lap one and lap two. Because y'all can, y'all can print that stuff, read that stuff on your own and watch that little tutorial video. Okay. Awesome, Carolyn. Glad you were here.